So we're going to round this three times and you can see the way it works and you'll get a bit more of a vibe for it because you have seen these before, right? First we're going to go one single figure, then two, then three because we want increasing amounts of detail. So if I want one significant figure, which out of the six digits that's, that's been put there, which is the most important number? Two, two, nine, it's got to be the two, oh, wow. right? It's got to be the two. It's the, it's the biggest number because even though two is smaller than nine, we have a place value system. So that two really stands for 200,000, okay? So the most significant figure there is going to be the first one you see. So maybe you want to like highlight it. Put uh, a line under it. That's the most important number. Okay. So then I think about well, all of these other numbers that are going to get rounded away, right? Do they lean me towards going up to the next number up, or coming down and staying what it is, right? Now you can see because the next number is a nine. This number is clearly closer to three hundred thousand, right? It's easy to check because if you try the other alternative. 200,000, you're 93,568 away. Whereas here you're only uh, 6,000 and some change away. So that's much, much smaller as a gap. Does that make sense? So again, I'm looking at, if I want one significant figure, it's just the first number that I'm basing this on. Okay, make sense? Let's do two significant figures. The pattern continues. Okay, again, instead of looking at only just the one most important number, I look at the two most important numbers, which in this case are the two and the nine, right? So I'm going to expand there. The two and the nine are most important numbers. So then I think, are the other numbers that are left over going to make me round up or stay at two and nine? Stay. Stay. And I'm going to stay because I look at the next number, which is three. So that rounds down. But these are the familiar rules of rounding that we've seen before, okay? The more important bit is thinking about which numbers are going to stay or change. And the other bit I think is quite straightforward. So like you said, Two, nine, those are the two significant figures, and everything else turns into zeros. Okay? Again, easy to check. If you went up to 300,000, you're further away. See this number is further away than this one. This one is closer. So, more significant figures, more accuracy. One last number. Three. Seven. Okay. Are you getting sick of my pattern now? Which numbers am I going to look at? Three. The first three, because they're the biggest three in our place value system, is 200,000, 9,000, 3,000. They're all much bigger than the 5, 6, and 8 that I have left. Okay? So, after you've settled that these three are the ones you want, are they closer to going up or staying put where they are? Up. They're going to go up, aren't they? So, when I round to three significant figures, it looks like I'm going to go up to 294,000. Okay? So I've rounded it, done. And again, I can check, because if I compare that to if I pick the other option, 293,000, that's going to be further away than the option I already chose. You can always check. You never need to be in any doubt. It's really easy. You just you can even get your calculator and actually subtract them and see which one is closer. Okay. Again, we're going to go. One thing we've got, two and three. Okay. So I'm going to ask the same question I did before in this new number, which is really, really tiny. Okay. Which is the most important, the most significant number? It's going to be the seven, right? Like this is the biggest actual number. Because again, in our place value system, the further it is to the left, the bigger the actual number is. So this number is like more than 10 times bigger than the next number. So it's more important to me. Okay. So then I think, do I need to go up? Do the other numbers tell me to go up? Or am I closer to actually staying where I am? Oh. I should go up, right? So for one significant figure, this is equal to 0 0.08. Okay, now you might have some questions if you've written down some answers. Let's see if we can tackle this together. We'll do it a bit quicker. Two significant figures, I'm looking at the seven and the six. The next immediate number after that is a? Zero. zero. So that's gonna tell me to go down, yeah? So I'm gonna write that at 0 0.076. Again, you can see, look, there are the two significant figures. Want to ask wait, a question? Yeah. Um, no. Oh, no, I'm asking. Okay, wait. Yes. No, yeah, wait. You know how wait, yeah. the first one was 0 0.08? Yep. Wouldn't you carry that through to like the next one so the next one is like 0 0.08? Yeah, that's a great question. Okay, so the short answer is no, but let's actually understand why, okay? So in case you didn't quite catch that, Sandy's wondering, tell me if I'm wrong, that like, hey, I already did this. This is already an 8. 
So shouldn't this at least start with yeah. an eight? And the answer is no, because here's why. When I think about one significant figure, two significant figures, three. I mean, I've sort of done something a bit weird by stringing these questions all together, right? For us, we usually say, look, I just, just tell me one level of accuracy, whatever is the most appropriate. I don't need to know it at three different levels. We're just kind of using this to practice the skill. So therefore, this question, it kind of sits on its own. You are, you're now investigating this number with nothing else in the picture. And you want to say, okay, if I can only keep two numbers and I want to be as close as possible to this one, then I can keep seven and six. There's no reason why not. I don't have to change it up to an eight because that's going to make me further away. Like if I had retained that, maybe if I'd written 0 0.080, right? Like that's the smallest 0, 08 something that I could have. That's still a lot further away from this number yeah. than this is, yeah? So I'm always going to treat it as a new question and get as close as I can. Now, that then leaves the last one. What'd you get? Zero point? Zero, 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 zero. Now, this is interesting. This makes me pause. Because when we looked at all those other questions, and this is kind of like a rule that people sort of remember, right? It's like, look, zeros and zeros and zeros and zeros. And all of them, all the ones I underlined, were insignificant. They didn't matter. They weren't part of the accuracy. But you guys put this one here, right? Now see that zero there? That is exactly the same as this zero here. It matters. How do I know that it matters? It comes after. So the first thing you notice is, well, I just want the, the three most important numbers. And they happen to be a seven and a six and a zero. In the same way that for my class, it happened to be a three and a zero. Like, don't be discriminating against zero. He's an important number too. He can be, okay, or she. But when you look at this, right, I actually can look at this now and I can know because you told me this zero is significant. I didn't even know what this number actually stands for, like if it's a, a weight or if it's a probability or something like that. What information on the board tells me? I literally wrote it on the board. When I wrote down this answer, I actually stated three significant figures. I told you, right? So if I came over here and I said, there are 30 students to two significant figures, there's no ambiguity anymore, is there? Right? It's like, oh, well, obviously the zero matters because you said that it matters. And here, if you write this down and you say, well, if you put this, you just put it on the end there, that's you signaling to me, hey, that zero is not rounded. That zero matters. It came from something in the original number, okay? So the easiest way to know, and now I'm, I'm going into like a course exam mode now. If you want to know, like, oh, how do I judge? You look at what it says. And if you're writing the answer, you should tell me. Don't just write this number and leave me to guess. Tell me how many significant figures you intended to put. What if it doesn't say The question will ask you what to round it to. Okay, yeah, the, the, question, the question will ask. And if, you're, if it's the other way around, then it's your responsibility as a student. Like, I'm, I'm wanting to communicate. I write this number down. I want you to know that I knew what this number came from, and so I'm writing three significant figures, right? No, no, you can't. With no information, I can't assume that it's significant. I have to assume it's not, okay? Because, hmm. because without any information, without you telling me how many you've actually placed, there's one or two possibilities. Either it is significant. Or it was the result of rounding, but I don't know which one it is. So I can't assume it's, it matters. Okay, I have to assume it doesn't.